and we can update the data service. We can select it, then go to refresh, and then all of them are only selected one. Now we have only one, so let's try this one. And there are two types of synchronizing. The first one is rebuild the data tasks, and in this one, all the data values and all the structure will be overwritten. But if we need only to update the values, not to mm, delete and to make a new structure of the, of the, of the our elements of task, we can use it synchronize. Okay. And we can do the same thing with this. This is way. Press right button and then use synchronize or or build. Or we can go to edit and make a new kind of mapping with this these fields that we need. So okay. And let's go to, back to tasks and you see that basement level now is planet is the, the first of April. And so I can go to this this folder like pass and then press right button and open with notepad. And we can even edit it from here. The so basement level is 1 April uh, and this year. And we have to change the, the date and the, the day, the, the big day. So it's in Russian 1. Okay, and now so the, when we change the date, we have to change the weekday or it will not work. Then let's save it. And now let's synchronize it. Go to Task Source and synchronize it. That's okay. And go back to Tasks. And as you can see, the basement level is the uh, the new date, the 2nd of the April. And so, even if we can um, update the data source and overwrite in this file in this, this area, in this folder, and then synchronize it, we will have the new date, new plan date here. It's the first thing. But on the other hand, we can go to the actual then choose it, then copy. In this file, we have not only plan date, but the actual start and actual end. And let's go to the timeliner, and go to the path, and press and replace it here. OK. And the structure on this file is the same, but we have another actual date. And let's go to data source. And let's synchronize it again. Go to tasks. And yeah, you can see that we updated the, all the information. And in workflow, we can get the planned start and end start from the Microsoft projects like, like export from CSV or directly using this one. And and like this one, let's go to back to the let's go to the plan and let's go back and replace and synchronize it again. And now we have planted actual start and actual end because we synchronized. And if we want to overwrite and to delete all the dates, we can go here and then rebuild. Okay. And now we don't have this one, so we can understand the difference between all these two processes. And so in real workflow, we can get these dates from the Microsoft project, then work with after the snaps work and making the the actual the actual dates, actual start, 
during the work on the construction site and so on. And then, if we want to back it to Microsoft Project, we can go go here and we can export this shadow to the CSV file of the Microsoft Project HTML and then open it in the entire application. And so we can make some kind of changing of the information from one program to another one if we need.